I was working on a slideshow for a wedding the other day and uh, the end sequence, which is the wedding reception, there was a sort of a dance sequence and I wanted to put a slide style in it, but I came across a few problems. Just let me show you. We're going to use this slide here. We're going to drag and drop this into slide number one. Going to take the same image, dropping it into slide number two. This is the slide we're going to produce with our slide style. So just clicking down, there's our first slide. I'm going to press and hold down the control key. There's our second, number three, and number four. With these four selected and still holding down that control key, going to click, drag, and drop it into slide number two. They've arrived. We can now double click, which is going to open the slide option dialog box. Just steer your way to slide, slide style. And if I just scroll down, the one I'm after here is the display of four, clicking on this. And what we've actually done is we use that color picture there as our background. There's our four black and white. That looks pretty good. So let's click apply to that. Are we sure? Yep. Click OK. Come into this little icon here. I'm going to click this, which is going to open up the motion keyframe. It just gives us a much bigger, much better area to work with so we can see exactly what's going on. Let's take a look. Through it comes. Yeah, I'm not sure you can actually hear the, the music, but the words are you, you move a little closer. I think it also moves a little quickly, so we can change that by putting in 12. The other problem we have is click play again. This time, looking at it, it's a bit imbalanced. You've got two portrait style slides here. You've got two landscape style slides there. Don't like that. Just doesn't balance the, the slideshow out nicely at all. There you are. I can see it in the preview as well. So working on layer number one, we're going to drop it down one, two. Let's just take a look, see how it's looking now in the preview. It's going to show us. No, it's still side by side. So let's drop it down one more time. Let's take a look now. It just refreshes itself up here in the preview. That looks pretty good. That's better now. It's balanced out with the two portraits, the two landscapes. Now it's completely the opposite corners. What you need to do is click apply. Are we sure? Yes, we are this time. <laughs> right. Now, the other thing that I didn't particularly like with this is with the slide style, when we actually play it, when we play it here, you'll notice when it comes through, very soft edge. It's got that vignette effect applied to it. I'm not particularly keen on that. Uh, in fact, what I would have done out of choice is actually to put a stroke border around there because with black and whites, or with, even with a color image, a white stroke border can really help to hold it in. Now, the problem here is even if we had a white stroke border, because it's applied a vignette, it actually removes the edge. So how can we get over this? Well, we've got a cunning plan, and it's also a cunning plan that you can use to apply that white stroke border to any layer in your pictures in ProShow Producer. Let me just show you. We're going to come to Vignette. We're going to click on the Vignette button, which opens it up. There it is there. Right, shape, round rectangle. Dropping down, we've also got the ellipse, but we will stick with the round rectangle. Type, transparent, solid color. Looks better. Not sure about the black though. We're going to click here for set. Let's move this right up into the top corner. So we've got 255, 255, 255, which is white. Click set color. Right, so you can see we've now got a few little gaps in the corner. Corner, fill corners. Good old fill jumps to the rescue again. You can see that's now filled it in nicely. And we've also got, look at this, this is brilliant. You can also make a nice soft vignette. Absolutely terrific but we can take this a stage further. Clicking on border, solid color. You've now got this big white border across there, but we want that small stroke line. So just moving the vignette to the left, dropping the numbers down to, it's probably gonna be around about the two or 3%. Let's go for 2.5, all right, split the hairs on that one. Brilliant, let's click okay, and you can immediately see the difference there it is. All we need to do now is apply exactly the same to all these layers here. Another cunning plan coming across, coming over to vignettes, right clicking, dropping down, copy vignette to all layers on this slide. That'll do nicely. Clicking on that, pop, through it goes. Now when we click play, you will see the vignette has been applied now to all of these pictures. Looking better, but 
it also looks a little flat. It looks a little 2D. There's just no depth to the picture at all. So what we're now going to do, we're still working on image number four there. We're going to click on drop shadow and that has put a drop shadow around it. So now we're going to apply a drop shadow to all of these doing exactly the same thing. Another cunning plan just coming across here to the on button, right click in, copy enabled to all layers on this slide through that goes. So now when we click and play, you will see in our preview up here, we've now got a drop shadow to all of the images there. That gives a lot more depth, makes it look a lot better. Okay, finally, what I want to do now is we want to come to the effects tab. We want to come to the adjustment effects. We're going to click down onto our last layer here, the one that was our background layer. I want to change this a little bit. Uh, looks like she's hiding behind the shield there. Right, so we're going to click on colorize. There you are, so we've now made this black and white. We're going to take the brightness up a touch or two. We're going to take the white point up a touch or two. We're going to come down to the blur. We're going to move that across like that's there, that's the sort of effect we're after. And we're going to come and do exactly the same to this. However, with another cunning plan, you can just simply come to this, clicking on this and copy start to end, bow, through it goes, with the exact numbers that we've put in. Position number one, coming into our position number two there, our end position. Another quick and easy way of doing it. Let's click OK to that. Let's grab hold of this image here. I'm going to drag, drop that into slide number three. Let's just drop the timing down to one second for this. Let's just drop the timing down on this one to one second again, just swiping across there. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's play this. Let's see how this is going to look. It's going to come through. It's going to fade in the background fades as well as these come through. The timing is just about perfect. Perhaps it could be a second or two quicker just for the music and back out, back into colour, there you are. So you can see how you can apply that sort of stroke effect to any layer using the vignette. You can actually copy it as well to any layer using that copy, the same with the drop shadow. And finally, for the cunning plan of copying the sort of the start position to the end position, we'll actually make sure you get the same colours, the same sort of opacity going right the way through your background layer as well. Go on, give it a try. And until the next time, happy imaging and take care.